Okay, let's try this rainbow thing. I've been overthinking this. And I really, really struggled to kind of pick my favorite inks of each color. And then when I did, I was like, oh gosh, these are all really muted and don't look like a rainbow at all. So I guess this is a weird bow or something like that. Anyways, I then was trying to pick brighter colors and then I was like, but those aren't my favorites. And I don't know, again, overthinking. So let's go. I have 11, 11 colors. And we will start with brown. And this is diamine chocolate brown. And this is not going to be fancy swatching. This is just going to be splotchy lines. <laughs> I like diamine chocolate brown. I did kind of some test swatchings of all the different browns, but they all kind, you know, a lot of them sheen green, especially the pilot ones. And the thing I like about the diamine chocolate brown is that it sheens black, which is kind of cool. All right, so that was brown. All right, my yellow, which isn't super yellow, maybe like a yellow ochre, is um, KWZ Honey. My orange is Colorverse Martian. Which is such a weird color. But I really like it. Um, it's really similar to Diamine Autumn Oak. Where did that thing go? I had this. So Diamine Autumn Oak is here. Colorverse is here. But they write differently like Colorverse writes a little bit darker and just has this weird yellow undertone and Diamine Autumn Oak is just kind of a really pretty a little bit lighter you know dusky orange color so yes I went with Martian because of course if there's a choice I'm gonna go with the weird one all right my favorite red is Diamine Deep Dark Red, which is like a, it's a brownie red, kind of. And then I've got two pinks on here because I have to have a, kind of a dusky one. And then I have to have my new kind of favorite one. So... This one is Le Bon Aphrodite. And this is my favorite kind of pinky brownish color. I've got Colorverse French Date. I've got the Urban one that I can't pronounce. Um, but this one's kind of my favorite. It's the most legible in my view. All right, and now I've got Pannonia Candy Floss. My friend gave me the rest of her bottle. This used to be a sample that I have this. This is the one that I had in my Bainu Euphoria love story for a while. I actually had more of these inked up than I kind of thought. So I guess they really are my favorites. Um, my favorite purple is Roar and Cleaner Scabiosa. Um, I don't have this inked up right now. I'm cheating on it with Diamine Grape. But I think this was my first ink bottle, and I I still really love it. It's Iron Gall, but I've never had a problem in any pen I've put it in. Um, and I had it in one pen for <laughs> over a year, because I like to commit ink crimes, apparently. Um, and then I've got Diamine Earl Grey, which when I was figuring out my rainbow order, somehow fit between the purple and the blue. It's kind of a bluey, sometimes greeny gray. It just depends what paper you're writing on. Um, on the Hobonichi Weeks, kind of yellower 
Tabari River paper, it, it kind of casts a greeny shade. But usually it's a little purpley bluey. Uh, my favorite blue, which I think is a dark teal. I didn't go back and watch Leanne's video on the difference between teal and turquoise, but I think it's teal. Um, and I'm just going to go with that. Uh, Diamine Twilight. This is such a pretty color. Absolutely my favorite blue. Though I'm, I'm not the most knowledgeable on blues. I don't have a ton of them. Um, because I get, I get all strange about when they just look like a ballpoint blue. And my kind of bluey green, but is actually chroma shading, but is the most legible of all my chroma shading inks, is Sailor Ink Studio 162. I have no idea what this is going to do on here because it just does its own thing. It'll probably start changing a bit purpley. And my green is probably my second bottle of ink, unless this was my first, I don't remember. Roar and Cleaner Alt Gold Green. They're just, there just isn't a better green in my book. I love this color. It's so pretty. It's pretty in every pen, every nib size. It just, it's just gorgeous. So that is my weird bow, rainbow. Um, not very bright. I think probably the brightest colors are the Pannonia Candy Floss and the um, Roar and Klinger Alt Gold Goon. I don't know, maybe the Sailor Ink Studio is kind of bright too, but yeah, I think I just, I think I live in autumn all the time. Um, I will come back when they are dry and do that holding up to the camera thing. Also, this dye my chocolate brown dries so quickly. It just, don't know why. Okay, everyone, I am back. I'm doing the holding up thing. So we have dye mine chocolate brown, KWZ honey, Colorverse Martian, um, Diamond Deep Dark Red, which has kind of a gold sheen. Not sure if you can see that. Colorverse Aphrodite, Pannonia Candy Floss, otherwise known as Cotton Candy in the U.S. Um, Roaring Klingner Scabiosa, which I think also has kind of a black sheen, similar to the Diamond Chocolate Brown. Can you see that? Can you see that? <laughs> Um, Diamond Earl Grey, which you can kind of see that it turned a little bit purpley and there's some bluey bits in there, kind of chroma shading. Uh, Diamond Twilight, Sailor Ink Studio 162. When you write with Sailor Ink Studio 162, you mostly get the kind of greeny color. And uh, Roar and Klinger. Alt Gold Grin. So there's my rainbow. Hopefully you're able to see it. Da 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 panning slowly. That's it. Thanks. Bye.